Brandon Ayuk <clears throat> reported earlier that he got into it with fellow teammate Fred Warner um, a few days ago. And based off of Instagram, uh, him and Jimmy Ward are having a lighthearted uh, feud as well. So, Rohan, I know you're on the floor there. Tell me, one, what do you think about this new attitude from Brandon Ayuk? And on the field, is he backing it up with this play? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, Brandon Ayuk, that, that fight was amazing to watch live. You know, I have not been at a training camp before this one. And so to see that fight live, that was just wild. Uh, I'll just break the fight down, see what happened, and then I'll go into the thoughts. First time, uh, uh, the, like there were two brawls uh, yesterday. First one was after an incompletion. Brandon Ayuk uh, was uh, catching a pass from Lance. And then after the play, took exception to Fred Warner, essentially pestering him, just trying to knock the ball out of his hands pretty much. Them two were chirping at it, going back to the, uh, going back to the line of scrimmage, and then just tackled each other pretty much. Went down. It was uh, they, they tackled each other to the ground, and they had to be separated. Six plays later, literally six plays later, Fred Warner, after uh, uh, Trey Lance gets sacked, continues to play, throws a six-yard out to Marcus Johnson. Fred Warner, after the, like, pretty much play is over, Fred Warner, though, goes and lays the boom on backup receiver Marcus Johnson. Brandon Ayuk's like, nah, 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 you ain't going to do that to my receiver. He goes up and he just squares up with Fred Warner and them two go after it for the second time in practice. Practice was longer yesterday, but, you know, it's fun. And a lot of people, I'm not condoning the fighting, right? I don't think that it's necessarily always good. Um, because obviously it's the same locker room going at it necessarily, not joint practices going at it. But this is good leadership for Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is not a vocal leader. He's uh, Trey Lance has said it himself. And so to see Brandon Ayuk not only step up on the field with his play, but to also step up on the field in, in, in other ways, because he said after, after practice, he was just trying to drive a spark with the offense, right? Because... This is a play that just gets you fired up as an offense. And the offense had its best day, uh, coincidentally, on the same day that this incident happened. So to me, I liked it because it showed leadership from Ren and Ayuk. And also, I'm fine with Fred Warner doing as he did. I mean, obviously, you don't want players to get injured. But I'm fine with Fred Warner, you know, going after Brandon Ayuk in a way, pestering him, pushing him, because Brandon Ayuk seems really motivated right now. He's the best player by far on offense so far to start camp. He's been phenomenal all, all around. So it was it was a good, uh, great play, and I really like this new attitude for Brandon Ayuk. Challenging his teammates, being challenged by his teammates, because he, yeah, I see Swan Song saying it. Ayuk told Jimmy Ward today on Instagram, respect me. I'm gonna respect you, but try me, little bro, and we gonna have issues. I mean, obviously <laughs> that's that's funny calling the 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 person that's been on the team the longest, which is Jimmy Ward, and calling him little bro. How you go, little bro? Somebody that's been in the league as long as that's uh, like me calling you, little bro. You know I mean? <laughs> All right, <laughs> but I love no, it. But before before you go that. before you go in, Rohan, real quick, um, did uh, I know it probably got broken up pretty quick. But if you had to pick a winner or a loser, who won the fight? I'm going B.A. He's the one who stood up for his teammate. You know, <laughs> I mean, Fred, Fred I, I forget. I think it's Fred Warner that's done, like, jujitsu or something like that. Uh -huh. um, but uh, I, I'll, I'll just go with B.A. because he stood up for his teammate. But to be honest, there was just a, a flurry of other players that got in. So it wasn't obviously no winner really that much. It got broken up quick, like you said. But I'll go B.A. just because I'll I be – I'm riding B.A. all offseason so far just based on how he's playing got you and swan song cleared it he didn't say he didn't call oh. jimmy ward little bro he said don't little bro me thank you swan wow. song uh for letting us know but absolutely and i mean that's been kind of what we've been hearing out of training camp is just brandon iu um has been playing a lot better we saw it you know a, a different level of accountability when uh when he was first doing uh the interviews in that first um that first, uh, I guess, access to the players uh, this offseason. Brandon Ayuk talked about how he understood now being the leader in the locker room um, at the wide receiver room. He understood maybe some of his behaviors from uh, his first and second year in the league. 
he understands now why the coaching staff maybe went in on him a little bit harder and how he's taking accountability and being more of that leader. That's clearly what you're talking about as well, as far as him showing more of a presence out, out there through his actions, through his level of play. We all know he's been working really, really hard with Trey Lance this offseason as far as them being the two that have been working the closest together throughout the offseason. And also, Rohan, I think both you and I picked him as one of our biggest breakout players of this year because usually that third year is where, you know, we saw Debo last year's third year. He had his best season. And, you know, a lot of people are expecting Brandon Ayuk to have a really big season, not only because – you know, now he's maybe figured out the position a little bit more and his abilities, but also the, the the change in quarterback really gives him more firepower as he is usually the deep option compared to, you know, some of the other uh, receivers. So can you tell us, because I know they did some one-on-ones and I saw you tweet about it. Tell us a little bit more specifically of what you're seeing from Brandon Ayuk and why it's so easy for you to say he's been the best player on offense. Yeah, and real quick before I start on the one-on-ones, just real quick adding to what you said, Brandon Ayuk is going into his third year, but the other part about his development that people don't necessarily always think about, what is, what's happened with Brandon Ayuk over the last couple of years? First of all, his rookie season was a COVID year, so he didn't have a right offseason. Second year, he expected a different offseason than the one was happening because the COVID offseasons are regular offseasons are so different where you will legitimately battle in regular offseasons and maybe don't get the chance as much in COVID offseasons. So this is his first true offseason where he's fully competing. And so that's why I think this offseason is huge for him. And just speaking now on the one-on-ones real quick, Ayuk hasn't lost. He's dominant. He has gone up against the best talent. It's not like he's going up against weak talent. He's gone up against Trevor Aries Ward. He's gone up against Jimmy Ward twice. Um, and he went up, yeah, he went up against Jimmy Ward and beat him, beat him deep. And he is the best channel on YouTube. You y'all better subscribe to this. <laughs> y'all better subscribe. That's my best friend went up, Austin. That's the, that's one of the biggest Philly, Philadelphia Eagles fans uh in the world, right there, Austin Eldridge. <laughs> which is beautiful because right on the topic of Brandon Ayuk, his biggest highlight of his career is jumping over a Philadelphia Eagles player into the end zone. <laughs> so you're welcome, Austin. But um, Ayuk has won all of his one-on-one reps. He's been the most consistent winner, and it's not because of luck. He's consistently beaten his guys, and it's Traverius Ward and Jimmy Ward. He's not going up against no number two cornerbacks. in the like. He's not going up against backups. He's going up against the top-tier talent, and he's winning. Today, he had a great route on Traverius Ward. That was the best part. And then on top of that, um, uh, he beat Jimmy Ward twice. That's what I, uh, Jimmy Ward talked about in his press conference. Ayuk, I've yet to beat him, and I want to beat him, but he's been doing amazing. He's he's the best player opposite of Bosa. And so not only is he dominating on one on one, or sorry, not only is dominating on the field, he's dominating in the part that matters a lot, when you, when you especially for receivers, when you don't get as much time, and that's in the one-on-one -on -one game against the best of the best. That's great. And I mean, as far as Rohan, I know you watch, you know, the games pretty closely. What, what where has Brandon Ayuk's game maybe developed the most? Is it more in the route running? Have you, have you seen maybe some physical changes to him? Is it, you know, his elevation and, and eyeballing it? Or is it just like he's just get, gotten maybe better across the board? Oh, it's by far contested catches. Ayuk has always been a, a very fluid route runner. That's never been his issue. But the ability to piece it all together, the route running on top of the contested catch ability, on top of keeping both feet in the air, it's all just there. And he's had multiple contested catches this offseason. He's continuously found a way to get open. And I mean, there's not, it, it, there are routes where, you know, it's great coverage. So you, you can't necessarily blame it because there are two, there's a safety on top. So you can't necessarily blame it. But Ayuk has always been a great route runner. To This year, he's really pieced it together with the contested catches. I love it. It's Swan Song. Get Cindy on a 1K so I could donate the one cent. Um, I love you, Swan Song. I, will, I would love to accept your chump change, brother. I would love to accept it. Um, <clears throat> let's see who else is. Uh, Swan Song also says Ayuk has the best hands on the team, and I thought that before this camp. Seems like he's proven that, right, Rohan? Yeah, he hasn't really dropped passes. That's not been an issue with Ayuk. He's really 
really had a good job. Like you, you've always heard about uh, drop issues. You know, last year, obviously, the one thing with Debo Samuel that you had heard that was a negative was the drop issues. Then um, Jawan Jennings, this 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 off season has kind of been that guy with the drop issues so far. Uh, but Ayuk has just had surefire hands. He's he's been winning, and when the ball is on target, you you have a seventy five percent chance that Ayuk is going to catch it.